Hey everybody, it's Excess Master X. Welcome back to another episode of Sly 3. In the last episode, we broke into Octavia's base and like Bentley hacked his computer and we followed him around town for a little bit. In this episode, I'll be doing the last job of this day, Canal Chase. Okay, I just spot the alarm clock, which basically just lures guards away from you. Although, well, no, actually no. I wonder if they made the sleep darts do what they do just so that hey, Sly, you better get over here. it went off the lead. My sources tell me that clock. Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. We've got to get to them before they get to her. She's off on her daily patrol. The thugs can't be far behind. On my way. Just make sure to have one of those police boats hot-wired by the time I get there. Let's see. Just cross the blue wire with the red wire and shazam! Just in time. There go the vipers. I'll shoot. You drive, Sly. Now, I actually had a lot of trouble with this job as a kid. But Let's I think I'll be okay on it now. Make sure to jump and weave or we're sunk. Let's take these guys out. So yeah, totally pretty simple. R1 or square to shoot. Next to jump. You saw it in the top screen. But the main hazard of this will be avoiding all the various obstacles that will be st randomly dropped in front of you. Also, watch out for those boats. If you hit even the very end of those, you Sorry, can... My gun they'll be down. Yes, you can also first. shoot obstacles out of the way, but it takes a while, so I wouldn't count too heavily on this. Just kind of have to be careful. There goes one of them. As you can see, Dick, their engine's kind of emit a little explosion once they're halfway down. Oh yeah, watch out for those arc waves. It doesn't look like you can get hit by those, but you certainly can. And there, I got hit by one of the boats I talked about earlier. Nice shooting, okay, there goes one of them. Well, the second one. And there they go. The Quick and easy. Indeed. Another uneventful patrol. This city's beautiful, but a bit quiet for my taste. I hope you realize that by saving Carmelita, we're only making our operation here more difficult. Maybe so, but what's the fun in stealing if there's nobody trying to catch you? Besides, she's helped us out in the past. That, and you've got a thing for her. And I've got a thing for her. Look, I'll stash this boat. It might be useful for later. You stay out of trouble. Yeah, Carmelita's like... As well as a member of the gang, because she's up, she's usually in the same place as Sly, and often gets tricked into helping them. So, according to these decrypted files, Octavio is pumping tar from underneath the foundations of buildings so he can sink them into the canals on a whim. He's going to demonstrate this destructive ability to the people of Venice during his opera recital on the first day of Carnival. To counter this threat, we'll first destroy the balloons inside, advertising the recital. If no one shows up, he'll have no reason to sink a building. Next, the blueprints to the main tar vacuum have been cleverly split into three parts and hidden in local coffee houses owned by Octavia. Unfortunately, they're under constant guard, so you'll need to use a disguise to get us inside. Also, some big Vincenetti goons have been called in as insurance for the recital. 
given their size, I think it's prudent to fool Carmelita's eight mercenaries into taking them out for us. And finally, we'll have to convince Murray into taking to the field. If he's learned the aboriginal ball form, it'll be just the thing for destroying the local tar reservoirs. So I believe that this will be the first video uploaded to my channel since spring break ended. Which is rather unfortunate. Oh yeah, every day there's uh, some new power-ups. I'll need to grind for those later. But yeah, things have been kind of crazy ever since uh, I got back. But they're selling down now, so videos will continue. <coughs> Although I am still uploading videos to my collab channel, Broken D-Pads, and uh, collabs to my other friends' accounts. We've been keeping those going. Alright, let's do guard duty. This one's pretty funny. I don't have the thing kit from it yet. So I'll have to... Yeah. Avoid the guard. Octavio keeps the blueprints to his main tar pumping station in three parts. Each is cleverly hidden behind a painting inside one of his legit coffee houses. Not very subtle, posting a full-time guard in front of a coffee house. Since we destroyed his Ferris wheel, he's gone all out on the security. In fact, he's got all his guards checking up on each other. If we're going to get inside and at the blueprints, we can't raise any suspicion. I'm with you. I'll approach the guard while in disguise and pretend to take the next shift. When the coast is clear, you head inside and swipe the blueprints. With me standing out front, no one will know that something's up. Your disguise could be assigned as a power-up. When hailed by guards, make sure to memorize their passwords and say them back in a timely fashion. Take too long or mess it up, and he'll know you're a phony. Thank you, Bentley. Alright, so we just equipped this disguise that we just got. And do this. He's put in a rather... I don't know, do a side by side comparison. You can tell he's not one of the guards, because, you know, he's not the same species. He doesn't really have that cape either. But you know what, the guards in this game are stupid, so let's try it anyway. Hey, you! Give me the cafe password. Here's the password slide. So, Bentley will give you an input. Bass, 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 soprano. Yep. Okay, I guess you're the relief shift. Uh, thanks for coming early. I got a big plans for tonight. Carnival. Uh, good times, eh? I can't believe that worked. You've got the worst Italian accent I've ever heard. No offense. Head inside and grab the blueprints. No telling how long till another patrol comes by. Fun fact, I'm actually in, like, roughly an eighth Italian. If the only thing I know about Italian accents is what, what, what I learned from playing Mario. There's probably aren't even, like, I don't know. I've never been to Italy. I kind of wanted to learn the language, but I didn't have it at my high school. So I took Spanish because it's similar. Yeah, that's... Might take some searching, but it's sure to be there. Just keep at it. Uh, oh yeah, one of them's a four. I always mess up this up. So yeah, that's pretty easy to find. Strong work. We're still clear out front. So that's kind of what this job will be. We'll break into various coffee houses. Some of the paintings are world from Sly 2, which is pretty cool. We see a few references to that, although we don't see any to the first one other than the backstory. I'll meet you at the next coffee shop. Once you take the guard's post, I'll move in. Second verse, same as the first. So yeah, now that you're in your disguise, 
Um, there'll be some guards just kind of posted here. And you can just walk by and they'll ask you for a password. And be careful not to screw it up. Okay. And they'll just let you go. So it makes things a bit easier if you don't like fighting guards. But yeah, this, the first Sly game just in every way felt way different than these next two. Uh, season time, from what I've seen, I haven't played it like I said, but uh, I've seen footage of it, and it seems to be a bit more similar to these than the first one too. Am I glad you're here? Mom's making spaghetti tonight, and I'm starving. I'm gonna eat like three, no four plates of food. I guess that you really like a cooking. Mamma mia, I want to be buried in my sauce. It's a hell. <laughs> Any problems with that guy? Said he wanted to be buried in his mom's pasta sauce. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh... That's strange. <clears throat> One thing I like about this game is that it has a lot of humor. The second one was kind of dark. And this one has dark moments too, but there's a lot more humor in this one. Hence why it says in the back of the box, Comic Mischief. You know, I just can't get it out of my head. Have you ever had pasta sauce that tasty? I don't want to distract you or anything, but I just don't think I've ever had cooking that good. Are we like missing out on a whole universe of flavors here? <laughs> Conversation. <laughs> and uh, season time seems to be pretty humorous too, and they also have a lot more risque humor. So, although this has some too. We've seen a fair bit already. But it's a lot more obvious in that game. Two out of three. Almost there, partner. Someday I'll get a PS3 so I can play that game. I mean, I've 100%ed the first three games. I don't 100% every game I beat. Like, I really have to like a game to do it. So... It's just kind of killing me that I've had to wait this long to play the game. I knew this would happen too. I don't know if I've ever ranted about this. You know, maybe there's a good Italian restaurant around here. Enough with the sauce! Keep your focus, we're on a job here! Thugs everywhere, death around every corner! You're right, we got one more coffee house to hit, then we're done. Yes, now you're talking sense! And then, we eat. <laughs> so yeah... I've probably told the story at some point in slide 2, but I doubt I've told it in this one already. If so, I've already forgot, so I apologize. But, <clears throat> whenever the PS3 was being released, it hey, doesn't think I'm acting a bit strange or anything. Get some. Yeah. Bass, 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 soprano? Yep. Um, I'm surprised he's like. Well, never mind. But yeah, as I was saying, so the PS2 was released, and for a while I'm kind of thinking, uh, so the first three Sly games were on the PS2, so if they make another game, it'll probably be on the PS3, so I should get one. But, for some reason, my family kept point blank refusing to get one, because even c compared to the, like even the Wii, it was like super expensive. Now you can get them for like 180 bucks, which is cheap for a console nowadays. Tenor soprano, tenor soprano. And when a collection came out in PS3, I was starting to get worried. You know the code, but what's my nickname? There's only one Tony B on the payroll, and I'm famous in the family. I'm a new. Just got called in from Roma. They know me in Rome. I'm practically the mayor of organized crime in Rome. You telling me you never heard my nickname there? Uh, my cell phones are going off. I should take this call. It could be the boss. Yeah, okay. Talk to some of the other guards in the area and see if any of them...
them know Tony B's nickname. So yeah, this guy's pretty funny. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. And then Thieves in Time came out on PS3 and Vita. And, uh, <laughs> uh, at one point, uh, I was on a band trip with some friends a couple years ago. And I found this demo for the Thieves in Time in a, in a Sony store that was in the mall, local mall. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Sending the password, Sly. Alto base, alto, alto. Okay, okay, you're legit. Hey, you know Tony B's nickname? Tony B? That cannoli, he's a, what's it called, an egomaniac. I don't know nothing about him, don't wanna know. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And I kept on, like, wanting to stay at the store so I could play the demo as much as I could. And this got me, and this got, like, uh, an inside joke started among my friends. That I like obsessed with the with the series. Mm, yeah, it's funny how that happens. Hey you, what was last night's password? Kid stuff. Here it is. Once again, he doesn't seem to think it's strange. I just alto jumped off a bridge tenor, alto. into his last sight, but whatever. Yep, that's the password. Sometimes I forget them, you know. You and me both, pal. Hey, uh, you know what the Tony B's a nickname is? Ha <laughs> yeah, that fathead likes to call himself Tony the Killer Bee. What an idiot. I couldn't agree Okay, I like how the little idle nice animations of him and that enemy in the background were, like, perfectly slide. synchronized. That was a bit these. goofy. Get an apartment with the killer bee. But yeah. <laughs> God, Bentley. Halt! Vacuum room password. Transmitting password. Soprano, soprano, bass, bass. Yep. So, big shot, what's my nickname? Oh, come on. Everyone's a heard of Tony the Killer Bee. Uh. You're the terror of every uh, player grounder from here at uh, Sicily. Ha ha ha. Funny. Least uh, I'm not on guard duty during Carnival. Who's got the last laugh now, tough guy? <laughs> Me, that's who. Don't take too long. If that guy comes back to chat, I'm out of here. Man, <laughs> 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 yeah, like I said, that guy. Um. You've got real skill with this art decryption, Bentley. It always takes me like 20 minutes to figure those things out. You're just flying through them. Yeah, Sly, that's your problem. Anyways, uh, after navigating the tantalizing twists and turns, we get to a th the f like the fifth world of Fly 2. And you don't even really have to zoom in to see the numbers in this one. Brilliant. Or at least it looks like the fifth world. I don't know if it is or not. But it really reminds me of it. Alright, is this the fourth world? No, this has got to be the fourth world. I mean, look, there's the big wall, the prison wall. And nice red colored water for some reason. There's not really an explanation for that. I already forgot. Oh, yeah, it's 113. I remember now. I remember. I kind of remember these from playing through the game in the past, so. Get out of there! It must have been rigged to an alarm! I've played this game too many times. kind of how I am with games, like, I won't go through games a lot, dang it, but I'll like find a s game and I'll like play it a lot, and like learn everything there is to know about it. And I have like this specific set of games that I've like played mil billions of times, and I have like a whole bunch of games I haven't beat yet, so I'm kind of trying we to stop to doing this. That alarm is attracting all kinds of guards. Agree. We've got the blueprints to the tar vacuum. Our work here is done. Alright, so now you have to fight your way back to the safe house as an endless onslaught of guards um attack you. 
And it seems like Bentley's slightly weaker than Fly because that guard, I hit him four times and he didn't die. And that's the standard for Sly, so... Probably not much weaker, but I don't even know what this he's doing is. There's just too many but, whatever. That's not the point. And we're back. <laughs> but Sly hasn't had enough yet. Alright. So that'll be all for this episode. Ah, the safety of the safe house. Indeed. But yeah, next time on Slide 3, we'll do the other jobs in the area. See you guys then.